Hey, can I come in? Are you okay? What do you think, huh? Looks like something's really bothering you. No, I'm fucking fine, okay? Look, you see? Fucking fuck! Where, where are you going? I don't know. Who the fuck cares anyway, right? Hey, I care. Get the fuck away from me, all right? Both of you, just leave me the fuck alone. Are you okay? I fucking hate that question, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, because you don't even want to know the real answer to that question. You just want to hear, oh, everything's fucking pretty and pink. And all oh, and puppy dogs, all oh, and daisies, all oh, and boba tea. What the fuck is boba tea even? Honestly, it's a fucking choking hazard. That's fucking besides the point, okay? The point is, I'm not okay. I'm Fular, Memphis Bell. The plane's going down, motherfucker. Oh, and on the way down, might as well enjoy the ride, right? <laughs> Sound like a little boy? Oh no. You sound sexy. I bet you've got all the ladies just beating down your door. Mm, I mean, there's this one girl I like, but I, she doesn't really know. A big, sexy, manly man like you? Oh, I can't imagine anyone being able to resist you. You sound delicious. Yeah, well, it's the whole friendship thing, you know? I don't want to mess that up. Well, what's more important? Having a woman as a friend or slapping your big cock on her ass and having your way with her caveman style? You can't deprive us ladies of all that big, throbbing manliness without even giving us a chance. Hmm. I mean, I guess you make a good point. I mean, how could she just, how could she resist me? I mean, I'm just oozing with sex appeal, so. Yeah, especially when my muscles are fully exposed. Especially my biggest one. What about you? Me? Well, I've been naked for hours, baby. So either you've been laying around in bed all day, naked, or you've been riding around town, going to work, and filling up your gas all in your birthday suit. First I grabbed a hold of that huge thick nozzle and then I bent way over so that my tight ass arched up just a little at the small of my back. That's actually kind of hot. Oh, it was hot. When you were watching me, the windows of your car steamed up, forcing you to get out before you missed the show. Then you stepped out and you noticed that you can just barely see my puffy pussy peeking out between my legs. Dripping wet with dirty sweat. You like looking at my puffy pussy, baby? Are you a dirty little boy? Well, I had a shower last night, but I'm a bit funky right now. Oh, yeah? I like my men dirty. Oh, baby. Now and then as you try to peek at my pretty little putty tat, I'd start having trouble getting that big nozzle into my tight little hole. You want to put it in my pretty little tank and fill me up? Yeah, baby. I'm going to fill your tank up. You going to slam that big cock in my pussy? You going to spray your gas all over me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take it, baby. I'm going to burn you with my dick gas. Oh, yeah. 
slam that nozzle into my fucking tank, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my sexy gas man. What, gas man? Set my pussy on fire with that gas dick. Slap it. Slap what? Slap your cock against the phone so I can hear it slamming into me. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, you sound so fucking huge. Yeah, it's pretty fucking gigantic. Oh, baby, I'm so wet, Wayne. I bet I could come quickly. Do you want to hear me? Oh, baby, oh. Oh, oh baby, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck me. Fuck me. Oh, fuck yes. Fuck me, guys. Just leave that shit there, okay? I'll uh, get it picked up later or something. Exactly when is later? I don't know. I don't know later. Don't worry, I'll just end up doing it anyway. I'll get it. All right, see yourself. Oh, what a crazy fucking night last night. Yeah, I wondered where you were. Out with your work buddies, I take it? Yeah, some of the uh, work buddies want to take me out for my birthday, so... Yeah, your birthday? Not like you need another excuse to get drunk, right? Yeah. Hey, you should have come. Yeah. Can't come to something I don't know about. Look, just leave that shit, though, okay? I'll get it later. I don't want to wait until later. I want to take care of it now. Fuck, dude. Can't you just relax? It's Saturday. No, I want to clean. Asshole. What the fuck did you just say? You're sitting on the remote. What? You're sitting on the remote. Well, you've heard of butt dialing, right? Well, this is butt remoting. I invented the practice, and I have to, you know, perfect it so I can write a manual on it. Thank you, Thomas Edison. Well, how can you just plop your ass anywhere and not even look where you're sitting? Don't 
Don't worry about the remote. I'm just trying to save it from your asses all. Well, that remote's been fully assed, okay? Yeah, okay, it's really funny. God, would you just give me a fucking break, man? I just woke up, all right? Oh, no, oh, no, it's okay. Most of this mess is mine anyways, and I'm in the mood to clean, so I'll just take care of it. I'll tell you what, all right? Just give me like 10 or 15 minutes. I'll whip up some of my famous eggs that you love so much and we'll make some. Oh yeah, I used all the eggs. All right, look, just give me like 10 or 15 minutes. I'll go out and get some breakfast, okay? I'll bring you back something. Okay, yeah. I mean, if you want to. No, I insist, all right? It's the least I can do. I feel like such an asshole, you know, you clean up all my stuff and whatnot. You done with this? Where do you think I should go? You got the diner on the corner. Uh, supermarket's doing those breakfast burritos now. They got this like salsa, it's like mango habanero, dude. With the eggs and stuff. I mean, I really don't care. Just, it's your birthday anyway, so. You know, you're right, it is my birthday. Hey, you should go get me something. Make it the uh, mango habanero burrito from the supermarket then. So you're not gonna go? I'm not really that hungry anyway. To be honest with you, I might still be a little drunk. And your ass is hung over, that's for sure. And your ass is stretched out from all the cock you set on last night. You know, the uh, closer I get to the big 3-0, the less interested I am in going out and getting drunk all night anyway. Yeah, well, it's about time the rest of us stopped doing that shit like five years ago. Mm. Dude, you never did any of that shit. What? I used to go out and go drinking. Mm, not really, though. It just obviously wasn't something you were interested in doing. Well, I mean, I, I just don't understand why anyone would enjoy, like, going out all the time. I mean, who wants to get so slobbering drunk every night that they can't even remember what happened? Normal people? <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> Maybe not for you, little brother, but for the rest of us. Don't call me that. Don't call you what? Little brother. <laughs> well, I am older than you. Look, my point is, okay, I got home before two last night. I mean, in the old days, I wouldn't even have been getting started till then. Now, it's practically my bedtime. You think that getting home at 2 a.m. is a sign that you're settling down? Well, isn't it? <laughs> Not really. Technically, it's an improvement. In the old days, I wouldn't even have been getting home till now. So technically, 2 a.m., it is an improvement. <laughs> I mean, I guess so. <sighs> but it's just so fucking boring, you know? I mean, I feel like I'm just going through the motions at this point. I get up, I go to work, I work out, talk to this girl, talk to that girl, fuck one of them or both of them, and, you know, it just becomes this monotonous blur of everyday shit, you know? Dude, that's normal and everyday shit for you. Two girls at once. Seriously, man, monotony is just life. But it's just so fucking boring, you know? Going through the motions, same thing every day. Where's the action, the excitement, you know, the special effects, the explosions? You watch too many Transformers movies. What? What? I said, what the fuck, man? Where's the shit? The action, the adventure. I'm talking about life here. Pay attention. I mean, I don't know. Why don't you go ask your work buddies? Nah, 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 man. They're just a bunch of fucking idiots, simpletons. They don't... They don't get deep into talking about life, you know, like me and you do right here, right now. Is that what we're doing? What the fuck did you think we were doing, Sally? I don't know, uh, having a cup of tea? I mean, this is real life. Cleaning up your shit and taking responsibility, you know. Growing the fuck up. I don't know, man, fuck that shit. <sighs> you really expect me to take life advice from you anyway? I'm fucking believable. It's Eleanor, I, I got it, I got it. What's up? Hey. You wanna come in? No.
Dick face, Eleanor's here. Oh no shit, really? What am I blind? Oh, hey El. Hey. Um, how's it going? It's good. Do you want a drink or something? No, I'm good. I mean, it's really no trouble. I'm alright. Got chips, oh, dip. I'm really Dude, okay. Dude, chill out and shut the fuck up. She no, said she's fine. No, you shut the fuck up. Well, I'm trying to be a good. Up. I'm she's trying fine. to be a good host. I'm How about you host my balls in your mouth? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, it's bold. Oh, so happy birthday. Thanks. How's it feel? Hmm? It's a serious one, the 3 0. Ah. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Maybe it feels the same. Well, it's good. You know, to feel like you're old, young self still, I guess. Yeah, something like that. I'm, but the, but. I'm turning, <laughs> yeah, no. I'm turning fucking 30 in February. That's all, yeah. What, you're turning 30? Yeah. Well, like this February? Next year, February, but yeah. I don't think I knew that. I guess I didn't mention it. Well, what day in February? It's the 10th. Oh. I'll put it on my, um... Right. I don't really use... Sure, my... yeah. Well, anyway, I didn't know. Well, now I know. Yeah, now you know. Yeah. Knowing's really half the war after all, right? Knowing is half the battle. That's huh? what they say, yeah. Oh, it is half the battle, yeah. Or G.I. Joe. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really pay much attention. You know, hey, uh, I got you the water, oh. just in case. Your lips look the little part, so I got you. Well, thank you. My lips, thank you very much. Yeah, so now they can say, all oh, nice and wet and juicy. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Wet and juicy? Yeah. Dude, you're being weird, okay? Remember you told me to tell you when you're being weird? No. You're being weird. Sorry, he's just being weird. Sorry. Jeez. So, um, what do you want to do? Watch some TV? Video on demand? Have you seen the new uh, Game of Thrones? No, let's watch that. Yeah, the, the winter uh. is coming. Tucker hates that show. You do? Yeah, I do. Why? <laughs> Fucking nerds. He doesn't even like the dragons. The dragons of all the things. Well, they should call this show Drags On, because that's what it does. It drags on and on and on. Who gives a fuck about dragons anyway? He does. Yeah. I do. I don't know. I mean, kings and servants and all that bullshit. The dragons? No. He means the royal family. What's the royal family have to do with Game of Thrones? <laughs> Nothing. Everything. You know, what the fuck? I mean, who gives a shit about any of that? That royal shit. He begot, they begot, we begot, this prince with that prince. And, you know, they have to meet up in the court and the king and the queens and everybody's sucking each other's dick because they're cousins. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh. It's bullshit, all right? I mean, when we founded this country, all right, we decided to get rid of all that crap. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, they, and they should give me a show, okay? Yeah, mm, I yeah, bet you he's, do. He's never heard an idea that he doesn't think he could do better. Because I'm a motherfucking rock star, bitches. <laughs> bitches. Bitch! Really? <laughs> we got
Rodriguez, bitch! Quack, 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 vagina! Uh, just relax, it's a game we used to play you with relax. the kids. It's called, it's called Laugh Chicken. Laugh Chicken! Yeah. The purpose of it is to make the other person laugh. Like, for instance, when you say, My name's Wayne, and I have a furry little Toto! <laughs> See? And I win, by the way. Furry little Toto? Furry little Toto. That's what you go with? Oh, it worked, didn't it? That's right, I'm the motherfucking king champion of Laugh Chicken. Bow to me! You are an expert, my lord. Ha ha ha, that's you win right. again. Ha ha ha. So, oh, any uh, plans tonight? I don't know. I mean, uh, I went out last night with some of my work buddies. Oh, yeah? So. Yeah, no. Not me. Guess I'm not cool enough because he went out with his work buddies. You're fucking A right, you're not. Maybe you should have asked him. Why would I do that? Uh, so he knows you care? But I don't care. He's your brother. So? So? I'm your brother. Yeah, I know that, pal. Okay, he just wants to be invited. He just wants to be invited so he can turn it down. That's what he always does. If I would have invited him, he wouldn't have went. Would you? Oh, this is ridiculous. I mean, what is this, the gayest conversation ever? <laughs> he always does this. What do you mean? Deflex his feeling? Yep. Mm. You think it's bad with me. You should see the long list of girls he's never hey, had okay, feelings shut for. Shut the fuck up, all right? So I've had a girlfriend here or there. Better than you, huh? What, are you jealous? What? I've had girlfriends. Yeah, one girlfriend. No. And girlfriend.com doesn't count, pal. That's, that's not even a thing. Well, you would know, wouldn't you? Kid's got calluses on his hand the size of walrus tusks. I'm jerking off so much. You know, just because you go Stag around fucking nice. anything that has hey, a vagina. Hey, I don't fuck everything with a that's vagina. Not the way okay, he hasn't been in my vagina, so if there's that. Okay. Yeah, see? I haven't been in her vagina. Yet. You're an asshole. Calm the fuck down, guys. It was a joke. Yeah, it's not funny. Yeah, not funny. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to get something to eat. You want to go? No, I'm going to stay here. Well, I know you don't. You're going to sit right there because I wasn't fucking talking to you. Good, because I got stuff to do to anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, that's... Okay, um, so like, what is this? Goody. Are you guys touching legs now? Do you want us to bring you something back? No, thanks. I lost my appetite, so... Well, if you change your mind, just call us. Yeah, give right. us a call. Okay. See you later. Try to look under the couch for your dick. I think that's where you Oh, play. yeah, all right. Yeah, have fun playing footsies, you little bitch. Did you ever see Mr. Rogers was covered in tattoos? That's like, like an internet myth or something. Or something. I don't think it's a myth. Yeah, that's like saying Seth Green is dead and he's not. Seth who? Seth Green. From Austin Powers? I don't know who the fuck that is. You don't remember Austin Powers? I remember Austin Powers. I don't remember no Seth Green. Seth Green's the his Dr. Evil's son in that. Mini Me? No, the son, not the mini me. It's who's I remember jealous Mini of Me. I don't remember some son. You would remember the midget. Sorry, I saw what you had on a porn search once. It doesn't matter. I'm not judging you. <laughs> Ah, oh, I missed you. <laughs> Me too. And I'll have you know that those midgets were all certified by the National Association of um, Small Performers and, you know, nudity. So my point is no little people were harmed in any of that filming, okay? I doubt that, but... Hey, Something wrong? Well, what is it? I feel bad. I feel a little bad. <sighs> About what? Please do not play dumb. I know you know what I'm talking about, so... Do you not feel bad? Do you feel bad? Yeah. I know you do, so don't say, don't bother, you know? 
Do you think he knows? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Not have feelings for you because he likes you? No, that's not what I'm saying. Do you have feelings for him? Not like that. There's... And tell me what to do because I feel bad. Don't feel bad. I know you feel bad too. I know you do. You must. How can you tell? Because you're sitting here acting like you don't care. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. How? You're doing it right now. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What the fuck ever. Okay. Go ahead and scoff at me. That makes it less true? No, it doesn't. Can you do me a favor? What's that? Can you cut him a little slack? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Do you have to be so mean to I'm him? I'm not mean to him. It's just the way we are. Yes, and it's mean. You wouldn't understand, okay? We've always been this way. He's the same way as me. Uh, no, he's not. He dishes it out a little bit, but it's nothing like you towards him. Not at all. If he dishes it out, he should be able to take it. Otherwise, you know what? Then he deserves to feel like shit. That's easy for you to say. You have the benefit of his silver tongue and quick wit, and he's not that way. You do love that silver tongue of mine, don't you, huh? Seriously? Well, we could get a lick in before we have to turn here. You're a baby man child. <sighs> you are. You love me. Oh, God. You don't? That's bullshit. You don't love me? No, I do not. Oh, okay. 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 You will tell. Watch the road. Maybe. <laughs> I fucking knew oh, it. Oh fuck, here we go. She <laughs> likes me. She really, really <laughs> likes me. You're fucking asshole. Well, stop making me watch Sally Field on Netflix. Or at least I'm watch Forrest <laughs> Gump. Shit. You know, you better watch yourself. I'm a fickle creature. A girl can go off a guy, you know. A girl can, you're too nice to go off on anybody. No, that's not what that means. Well, what do you mean, like get off on me? Like you want to come over and sit on my ride chat? No, not that either. I'm confused then. That's nothing new, is it? It means I can change my mind whenever I feel like it. <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding. You know, I don't know if you really realize this or not, but this whole cocky shithead routine of yours is, isn't really my thing. Cocky shithead? Yeah. It's not nearly as adorable as you seem to think it is. Well, maybe not when other guys do it. Oh, maybe not when nobody does it. If I'm so fucking annoying, then why do you bother with me? I told you. you told me what? I'm fickle. <laughs> I do as I please, as I want. That is bullshit. Okay? And just say what you mean. I am saying exactly what I mean. And that is? I'm not gonna spell it out for you. Ooh, cryptic. No, yes, whatever. Look, why do I even bother with you if you just get up and fucking leave whenever you want? When you like someone, you put up with their shit until you know it's worth it or not, right? I guess. Yeah, so please stop with the, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit. Fucking so coy when you're pretending not to know. So? So, I'm figuring it out. And so are you. <laughs> but look at your fucking face. It's going on the gram. Why do you take so many selfies? That wasn't a selfie. I that mean, was, you that know, was an if, ussie. I think you're if, in it. Your stupid face every... is in it. 
If every young female on this planet took one less selfie, you know how much energy the world would conserve on a daily basis? Really? Yeah. I think my selfies are pretty nice. Well, they are pretty nice. I jerk off to them in between the midget porn, but still, I mean, there's a lot of them, you know? I have my hair looking at it anyway. It looks great, but your face looks fucked. <laughs> You know, part of me feels like I'm lying to a friend. I know you feel that way too, so don't say you don't. We gotta figure out how and when to tell him. Because this going around behind his back is not cool. It's not, it's not cool for me, it's not cool for you, and it feels like a betrayal. It is a betrayal, no, it, it is, isn't. yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. Why? If it isn't, tell me why we haven't told him about it. Yeah, you know it's not right. You'd have to be a real fucking idiot not to know. He's gonna be so fucking pissed at me. Yeah. And me too. No, but not like me, okay? He's gonna blame me, all right? He's gonna be jealous of me. So say I just should have known, you know? You do know. Yeah, that makes me a fucking asshole, right? You know, I'm just so tired of being his keeper all the time, his babysitter. And you know what the real kicker with this guy is? He thinks he's my babysitter. He's so unsatisfied with my every move, you know? Like, I could never behave in a way where he'd be satisfied with it. Fuck, nobody on this planet could ever behave in a way where he'd be satisfied with it. Who the fuck can live like that? You know, not everyone has life come so easily to them as you do. And what is that supposed to mean, okay? I work. I work hard. Yeah, but some stuff just comes to you. Well, like I'm lucky? No, I just mean certain things are effortless for you. Like the way you never have to really work on being center of attention. You don't have to try very hard to find people to get along with. I don't really get along with that many people, all right? Okay, but by comparison, people gravitate towards you. You're a popular guy. People want to be around you, so you get to pick and choose who and when you hang out with them. And that's not true. <laughs> yes, it is. And the rest of us fall under the shadow of your magnificent umbrella. Walking into a room with you is sort of magical especially when next to you. Okay. People, people look at you differently, so. Okay, first of all, that's bullshit. No, it's all not. Right. People look at no, you no, differently, no. Tucker. Okay, that's bullshit, all right? I'm no more fond over than anybody else. And second of all, if it seems that way, it's because I work my ass off to make it seem that way, all right? Yes, and that's fine, but it doesn't change the fact that to the rest of us normal people, it feels like the air gets sucked out of the room a little bit when you walk in. Well, that's not my fucking problem. I'm, oh. I mean, fuck those it. people, okay? This is my world, this is me. Welcome, you know? Yeah. And if you don't like it, you can fucking get the fuck out, okay? Yeah. Those are the circumstances, deal with it. I know. <laughs> is that how you feel? No, not really. But I haven't known you as long as Wayne has. You've known him and he's known you for so long. It was a time before you were the people you were gonna be. And I think because of that, you're holding each other back a little bit. Nah, he's just a fucking pussy. Why do you say that? Look up he is, okay? I mean, this isn't how a man behaves, okay? If he feels this way about me, he should just come up to me and confront me, okay? Not go behind my back and talk to you about it. <laughs> if he's gonna act the way he's acting right now, then he deserves to feel like shit. <laughs> What's so funny about that, huh? He just 
You have no clue what it's like to live with you. Well, of course I don't have a clue what it's like to live with me. I'm me. I don't live with me. And if the sun shines so bright on me like you say it does, wouldn't it be pretty fucking awesome to live with me? Or if you say so. And what does that mean? It means if you say so. Oh, okay. I know what you mean. You mean I'm being a fucking asshole. That's not what I said. Oh, uh, that's kind of what you said. That's not what I'm saying. Look, it's fine, okay? It's fine. If me being me and saying what's on my mind makes me an asshole, <laughs> then I'll wear that badge proudly. Alright? At least I'm not sitting around feeling sorry for myself. Woe is me and all that fucking bullshit. No, fuck that, alright? I'm gonna be me. Yeah, I know. You're damn right. You know, you can be pretty punishing. If I have to be. And not everyone has a big of a personality as you do. It doesn't make them weaker a person. <laughs> That's debatable. Some people are weaker than others. That doesn't make them less a person. Look, just because I am the way I am doesn't mean that anyone's less than me or that I think anyone's I, less than me. Yes, I know. Oh, then what the fuck are we talking oh, this about? This is exhausting. Fuck it. Well, I sure do know how to wear a girl out. Really? When you hear that in your head, does it really sound that good? Yeah. So good, you gotta say it out loud? <laughs> yeah. God damn it. And that, and that just, that works for you. You're sitting here, aren't you? See, it works. Yes, but okay. I don't think it works in the way you think it works. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you think it's like a, turn on for me or a good line or whatever and it's not when you say that shit it sounds pretty lame and pathetic uh, look i'm not trying to analyze how it works all i know is it does work okay then look you're here aren't you yeah well that's all i care about yay How's yours? It's cold. You want a bite? Nah, I don't want to bite off your food. Why not? I don't know. Maybe you don't want my germs or something. Your tongue has been in my mouth, but you don't want my germs? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you don't want my germs. Yeah, right. I don't know. It seems like it. Shit. Did you get a mushroom? I hope not. <laughs> You want a mushroom? <laughs> oh my god. Always, it is. That's just, that is you, huh? It's just, that's how it works, huh? That's who I am. No. You want some teeth bread? Stop. Mm. I don't want to kiss you when you have teeth bread. You don't want to kiss me when I have teeth bread. Please, and don't attempt, no, that I can feel, please don't. Please don't do it. <laughs> Keep that teeth red. Please, God, help me. I'll come back and get it later. Hi. Yep. So this party thing. Oh yeah, we're having lots of fun. Here fun, there fun, everywhere fun fun. So, are you the gatekeeper? Huh? Because if you're the gatekeeper, then I'm the key master. What? Never mind. Who do I have to fuck to get you to let me in? Oh, sorry. Enjoy yourself. We got, we got cheese squares. If you like cheese squares, I'm telling you, you're in the right place, so. We got plenty of it. It smells fucking in with cheese squares. So, uh, one of the funniest things in the world is when we were at Florida, Georgia. 
Me and my buddy Jeff Brzezinski, he got so drunk, he fell asleep in the backseat of a car and he pissed all over the car and we went to the car and we found he had his dick out of his hands and he was jerking off to sleep. <laughs> and he was passed out of sleep and he was jerking off. And like, we, we go to the car and we open the car. No. And we go, Jeff, no. you alright? And he's just like, huh? <laughs> and we turn around and we're like, alright, cool, now put your dick away. Like, literally, the kid is That's like, horrible. No, no it's good. He has dick out. So. Oh, my I'm God. Just saying, what are we, 16? <laughs> Why? Because we're sneaking around. Like, we're afraid of getting caught. <laughs> afraid of getting caught. I don't know. It just. It feels. It feels like it. <laughs> like. I mean, in the backseat of a car. It's not that out of the ordinary for me. What do you mean? Well, you know, the hookup. The hookup? Yeah, you know, you don't want to bring someone to your house, so you tell them it's being fumigated, or your roommate's parents are in town, you know, some shit like that. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's, that's how it is for you? Well, no, but, you know. No, I don't know. Well, I didn't lie to you, you know, we decided to come here. Well, yeah. So, you know, I mean, like, it's, it's okay. How, um, how often do you, do you do this sort of thing? Well, you know, I don't know, I feel like it, you know. When you feel like it? Yeah. What does that mean? I mean, what? What? Really? Yeah. I mean, come on, it's like, you know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. How, when's the last time you've, you've done the hookup? Actually, you haven't been that long for me. <sighs> You're such a fucking whore, Tucker. Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess I just am who I am, all right? Great. I'm a little different than everybody else playing the game, baby doll. <sighs> baby, you know my mother calls me that? Your mother's a smart woman. Oh, my God, please. How do you... Mm. You feel that? Yeah? How could I not? Mm. Again? Of course, man. That's what I do. You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. <laughs> I know, right? You know, it's like an itch you don't want to scratch. Mm, yeah, an itch. Yeah. Or better yet, it's like me taking you into my hand and stroking you. Yeah. Striking you nice and hard and telling you not to come. Oh, that sounds pretty shitty to me. <laughs> yeah. Well. It can be. I don't know. But what I do know is we're here right now because it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's fun to have this secret. Mm, I like having a secret. Because it's just between the two of us. And you know what? All these thousands of horny housewives know too. <laughs> they tell their online boyfriends their dirty little secrets. Mm -hmm. And they know that it's fun to have a secret and all their husbands are away, you know, titty fucking some mm -hmm. young pubescent 20 something with a pretty mouth in some hotel room. She knows. Mm -hmm. She knows it's fun to have a secret, too. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like, cha-ching, one up. Mm. Why don't you talk dirty like that? <laughs> Gets me like steamy and stuff. It's just like, they all, they all risk something that's they think is some fantasy that everyone else is doing. And they risk the things that in their life that are real, you know, their husband, the kids, the house, 
all for something a little less real. You know, it's like after a while, they find out that their internet boyfriend is kind of an idiot. And that, you know, hot, pubescent 20 year old with that pretty mouth, she farts in her sleep. <laughs> fuck are we talking about here, huh? You know, and like I told you, I like having a secret. Well, don't get me wrong, I like our secret too. It's just... A part of me knows that we're here right now because it's a secret. Because it's just... Let the two of us know. And it's exciting and new, but... Just feel sort of cheap. And you know, I finally figured out what it is I like about you. Yeah. You're just so goddamn cheerful, I can barely <laughs> fucking stand it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean... You know, I don't care about all that. I really don't. Oh, yeah. I like you. Oh. I do. Oh. I like the way you. And breathing in my ear when you're listening to me yammer on. I like the way you feel against me. I like the way you kiss me. I like the way you feel in between my legs right now. Oh, I like that too. like you're overcompensating. Mm -hmm. Overcompensating. Yeah. How's that online business thing going? You get anywhere with that? You gotta get in on the ground floor. That's for sure. Yep, I agree. Who are you going as? Sorry, I left my keys again. You can leave your keys. I don't know, okay? Yeah, come on, let's go. What? No. No. What time? No. What? Come on, we'll get in there. No. Come Just on. come on. Let me tell you about that.
cooking this up, huh? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Magical and shit. Hey. Hello. Hey. Can I come in? Are you okay? What do you think? Huh? Looks like something's really bothering you. No, I'm fucking fine, okay? Look, you see? Fuck! Ugh. Where where are you going? I don't know. Who the fuck cares anyway, right? Hey, I care. Get the fuck away from me, all right? Both of you, just leave me the fuck alone. Just leave me the fuck alone. No. Can we just talk a second? Do I look like I want to fucking talk right now? Are you shitting me right now? Are you shitting me? No, I'm not shitting you. What are you even fucking doing here, okay? Why don't you just fucking catch a clue? I'm not in the mood. I don't even know why I'm fucking upset, okay? It's fucking bullshit. I'm bullshit. No, you're not bullshit. I am bullshit, okay? I'm fucking bullshit. <laughs> no, you're not. And I don't know why I even... What the actual fuck? You okay? I fucking hate that question, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, because you don't even want to know the real answer to that question. You just want to hear, oh, everything's fucking pretty and pink. And all oh, and puppy dogs, all oh, and daisies, all oh, and boba tea. What the fuck is boba tea even? Honestly, it's a fucking choking hazard. That's fucking besides the point, okay? The point is, I'm not okay. I'm Fular, Memphis Bell. The play's going down, motherfucker. Oh, and on the way down, might as well enjoy the ride, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Do something to help. Oh, is this a joke to you? Are you fucking kidding me? Is like a joke to you? Ha <laughs> ha! You're so funny. Oh, what are you like a master of comedy? Ha <laughs> What do I have to do to convince you? Just leave me the fuck alone. You have a sec. Oh, what's this? Are you you're gonna put this on Instagram? Oh, you're gonna blow me up on Twitter? No. Oh, you, yeah, LOL, huh? WTF. By the way, how about you retweet this one, bitch? Fuck you! What do you have? You know what I'm saying? And then he had that fucking shit like all over his face and shit. Oh, what's up, buddy? You going somewhere? Let me help you with your bag. Come on, what about this fucking party? You know, surprise party? I, for one, am very surprised. This behavior, huh? Stick around, we're gonna play like, what, Pictionary, categories or some shit? Why don't you get the fuck out of here and don't come back, you little pussy, huh? Why don't you get the fuck out of here and don't come back? Hey, Tucker, come on, come on, come on. Piece of shit. I'll be damned if I'm gonna miss the sound of him spanking it every night. His bed hitting the wall. Oh, oh, oh. Putting all those knuckle children in that belly button of yours. Makes breakfast time really awkward. I mean, you're trying to eat Fruit Loops. Next thing you know, this guy's adding a little extra frosting. Here you go, here's some jizz for you. 
God, I couldn't tell you how many times I've woken up in the middle of the night to the sound of this guy spanking his own meat. A little meat whistle. Toot, toot. Shut up, man. What did your dick ever do to deserve that punishment, huh? A lifetime of solitary confinement. Physical abuse. I tell you what, the amount of dishonorable discharge that has left your loins in the past 15 years could populate an entire colony of little wains. At least there's not any more little ewes running around and the balance of the earth is restored because of it. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh yeah, what was that? I said fuck you! Ooh, such tough words, huh? You suck your daddy's dick with that mouth, huh? Do you? Do you? No, 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 what is it? Just I want to hear what he has to say. Just go do it. Just, just sleep alone. Get the fuck away from me. Oh. You can't nice girl your way out of this, okay? Oh, yeah, real fucking you tough know. guy taking your frustrations out on the girl, huh? When you know I'm the one you're really mad at. I'm the one you have something to say to, right? What is it? Tell me what it is. Come on, tell me what it is. No, tell me what it is. Just let it be. Come on, come on, come on. No, I want to hear go. what he has to let's say. Go. Fuck that shit. I want to hear it. Come on. Huh? Huh? Everyone's watching. Don't you people care? Do you care what he has to say? Well, fuck you, let's go. You know, fuck Come this. On. No, fuck this. All right? You know what? Fuck all you. Get the fuck out. Just get the fuck out. Huh? You happy now? Happy now with that? Hey, thanks for coming. Everybody? What the fuck did I do? Way to go, shit pipe. You ruined my fucking birthday. Huh? To make you happy? Tucker! It's like you're always ruining hey, fucking everything. You're moving hey, out, huh? Hey, you're gonna hey, ruin my condo now, too, huh? Huh? No, 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 no. Fuck that. Where, where, where are you going? I'm leaving. I, I was defending you. I don't need defending! Well, you don't have to be such a fucking bitch about it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Fuck you! And you know what? You're. Not worth it. Oh, you again. You got anything else to add, Professor? We'll add this up. Go fuck yourself. I grew up in the same house as you, man. And I know you're just as big a piece of shit as everybody else. Look, my life has been a series of things that I wanted, but you had. Things that I wanted, but you took away from me so I couldn't have them. So dramatic. Don't be such a fucking baby about everything. Yeah, well you don't have to be such an asshole all the time. But does it stop you? You weren't gonna do shit about her, man. Just like you never do shit about anything else because you're too much of a little fucking chicken. All right? What was I supposed to do? I don't know. Be a friend, be a brother. Tell me to get my head out of my ass and go get her maybe. I can't hold your fucking hand anymore, man. I'm not asking you to, okay? I know better than that. When was the last time you did anything for anybody else that wasn't motivated by some kind of agenda or something? Fucking no, man. I don't keep track of that sort of thing. You don't know because you can't remember because you haven't. That's bullshit. More specifically, when was the last time you did anything for me besides berate me and try like hell to make me feel like a piece of shit? Yeah, that's been even longer. Did you hear what you were saying about me in front of everyone? Shit, man. Take a joke. That's not a joke, man. That's bullying. Bullying? God, I feel like I'm a fucking teenager around you. You can call it whatever you want. It is what it is. How did it turn into my fault, huh? How does everything turn into my fault? Where you fucking blame me for everything, huh? You're not a picture-perfect human being, motherfucker. Yeah, well, at least I don't claim to be. You knew how I felt about her. Did I? Yes. Did she? Fuck you, man. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. Keep your fucking dick out of her. How about that? <laughs> Doesn't sound like something I would do, does it? Yeah, well, does she know that about you? Know what? That you'll fuck anything with a vagina. She knows I've dabbled. Dabbled? Is that what we're calling it now? Yeah. You're a fucking asshole, man. I can't believe you somehow tricked her into believing otherwise. You're disgusting, man. 
and you're pathetic. At least we know this. A girl like that would never be in you and me at the same time. So if you would have made a move, which you didn't, we all know how that would have ended, man. You'd have been rejected and humiliated. I did you a favor. And you may not want to hear this, but I'm really happy with her. And I think we really care about each other. You just try to fuck that up. Seriously? Curiosity didn't get the best of you, okay? You saw something you wanted and you decided, oh, I'm gonna go for this. So fuck you, man. Hey, let me know if you need any help packing. There's some empty boxes in there you can use before you get the fuck out of here. I can't do this anymore, man. Oh, you mean move out, huh? You know how many times I've heard you say this, man? You'll fucking be back here tomorrow, okay? You need me too much. You need me way more than I need you. Oh, yeah? What's that supposed to mean? I don't need shit from you. You need someone like me around to pick on, so you feel better about hating yourself. What? He was a miserable man, and he treated everyone like shit. I don't know why you got the brunt of it, and I don't know why he hated you more than anybody else, but he did. As cool as you like to act, and as tough as you think you are, I know that you're the way you are today because of every single word out of your father's mouth. He turned you into the asshole that you are today. You think you're your own man and you think you do what you want, but that couldn't be further from the truth. He's still in charge. He's still running you from up here. He's still in there controlling you every step of the way, even though he's been long gone for 20 fucking years now. You think you're this great superstar, king of the fucking world, but really you've turned into the man you hated the most. It's sad, really. And in your own special way, you're more pathetic than I am. Happy birthday, asshole. That was pretty shitty. Yeah. Sorry about that. Kind of bad timing on the drama. No, I, I don't mean shitty of you to do, but you know, shitty in general. Like, it's a shitty thing to have happen. Yeah. So that's your brother in there? Sort of. Sort of, what does that mean? He's adopted. Ah. Uh. Yeah, long story. Well, I know he's your brother and all, and I know it's none of my business, but he's kind of a motherfucker. He has his moments. So, what are you still doing here? I don't know. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm not here. Got it. Then I'm coming with you. Where are you parked? That way. So does your brother pull that kind of shit all the time? You have no idea. Like all the time? Yeah. I mean, not just like that, but I have to say I'm not surprised. Why don't you tell him to go fuck himself? It's really not worth it. Why not? If he's being an asshole, someone should tell him. He's just... It just gets harder when you fight back. 
don't you think he's training you not to fight back? Like, if you only push a little and don't really mean it? Of course he's going to keep being an asshole. Yeah, well, he's family. Right. You mentioned that. So, since he's family, he can do whatever he wants to you, but you can't send it back to him? Look, you're not doing him any favors letting him get away with shit like that. I guess so. So you make a habit of letting people shit all over you. I could shit all over you right now if I wanted to. No. Bullshit! Okay, so I'm a nice guy. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You're not a nice guy. You're a fucking pushover. There's a difference. Excuse me? What? Oh, sorry. Tact really isn't my thing. Yeah, I see that. Look, I'm not saying you're not a nice guy. I think you're very nice. It's just you go too far with this martyr thing. What the fuck is that? Excuse me? Am I wrong? Yeah? Really? Okay, but it's not... It's just not as complicated. It's not black and white. You see, people like you are always going on about how these kinds of things aren't black and white when they really are. They aren't. Okay. His parents died car accident and my parents adopted him because he had nowhere else to go. So what? You feel sorry for him? I mean, I guess. Kind of. This doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Yeah, except it's not. God, I hate that phrase. Like it just tells you you should suck it up and deal with things that don't make you happy. But the thing is, if you're unhappy or miserable or being taken advantage of, it's because you're trying to turn something that is very black and white into something it isn't. Your brother treats you like shit and fucks the girl you want to fuck. He's an asshole, family or not. And she fucks your brother. You two are completely different people and you never had a shot with her in the first place. But you can him and haw over it like some chatty Kathy doll if you want. But you're a fucking whiny ass bitch who lets people treat you like shit. And you let a stranger, a girl you don't even know, barge her way into your car and tell you you're a fucking whiny ass bitch. Yeah. Stand up for yourself. I don't know, it's uncomfortable. Less comfortable than me thinking you're a pussy? I don't know, it's definitely rude. Yeah, I know you think it's rude. Look, I'm just trying to be honest. You seem like a guy who needs some honesty. <laughs> no, I've had, a, I've had enough of that already tonight. <laughs> no, that in there was truth. I'm not talking about truth, I'm talking about honesty. There's a difference? Yeah. Truth is revealed. It like comes out like your adorable little love triangle. Honesty skips all that. It kind of comes first. I guess so. Look, people think I'm a bitch, and maybe I am, but I'm not about to let them have their way with me just to be polite. That's bullshit. Who are you? I'm Kate. Okay, Kate. Well... Where to? Where were you on your way to when I interrupted you? I don't know. Are you hungry? Not really. But I don't mind watching you eat if you want. Yeah, I'm not hungry either. And it's late. Anything good's already closed anyways. Yeah. girl you're in love with. Not in love with her. 
Well, that's good, because she doesn't seem to give a shit about you. It's not like that. She's a good person. Right. I get you. America's sweetheart. You're not getting anywhere with her. No, I guess not. So, are you really that into her, or is this just one of those things where you want something you obviously can't have? Because, you know, I don't know. I, I guess I'm more upset about him than her, so no. If anything, I guess I just like the idea of her, you know. A girl like that to be with. Right. A girl like that, Miss Thing, Sweetie Pie. I don't know what. Because, you know, again. <clears throat> well, a girl anyway. Can't really afford to be picky at this point. Oh, that's what every girl wants to hear. I'm with you right now because I can't afford to be picky at this point. <laughs> that's romantic. It's not like that, okay? It's just been a while since I've even been out on a date with anyone. Really? It's embarrassing. Well, now you have to tell me. Four years, and even then it was just a date, nothing serious. I've never even had a real girlfriend. Really? Nothing serious? Oh, well, high school, but nothing really real. So, are you, um, you know, A virgin? Yeah. Well, I might as well be. Really? That long? Damn. It's embarrassing to say, but I've only had sex twice in my entire life. And both times were with the same girl, all the way back in high school. And it was really pathetic and totally awkward. <laughs> you or her or it? It, but mostly me. Well, no one knows how to do it in high school. We were all terrible at it back then. Uh, not everybody. You can't believe everything you hear. We all suck at fucking when we're teenagers. Maybe. No wonder you're wound so tight. You need to get laid, man. Something fierce. I have phone sex sometimes. Oh yeah? I've done that. <laughs> it's not really my thing. I prefer the real stuff. Yeah, no shit. Why the fuck am I even telling you this? It's the honesty thing. Maybe. You're making too much of it. What do you mean? Find a girl you like and get it done. And people make too much of the sex thing. It doesn't have to be this big sappy drama. I mean, don't be a whore, but fuck who you want. Oh, I could never do anything. You say that, but how do you think all these people are getting together? Sometimes you just have to push a girl up against a wall and take it from her. You know, be aggressive, get it, insist. Sounds kind of rapey to me. Not like that dipshit. Just. Just be aggressive. Girls like that sometimes. What's the wildest thing you've done in the last month? Uh, I don't know. I 
planned a surprise birthday party for my brother. <laughs> that thing tonight? It's terrible, I know. That wasn't even a good party. <laughs> it wasn't. It actually sucked a little. It didn't even get good until the end. What about you? Oh, I'm a sad case. Well? Uh, the wildest thing I've done recently is, is I quit smoking. <laughs> Real ones. Seriously, you're one to talk. <laughs> Why am I even listening to you? I told you. I'm a sad state of affairs. Well, how's it working out for you? The smoking thing? Yeah. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Seriously, though, like, you talked, I had you pegged for, like, a skydiver or something crazy like that. <laughs> Hell fucking no. I'm not jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. I'd piss myself. Me either. Quite the pair, I see. So what are we gonna do about it? What can we do? We can do anything. To a point. Right, to a point. Nothing totally crazy like jumping out of an airplane. Because, I mean, I like you and all, but I'm not about to get myself killed just to set a good example. No. Nothing like that. <laughs> what was that for? I don't know. Sorry. I do that sometimes. <laughs> do what? Whatever the fuck I want. Okay. Crazy party last night. Yeah. Thanks for um, thanks for getting everyone here. No problem. I don't think I ever had a surprise party um, before. What? Uh, yeah, you did. Mom and Dad threw you on when you turned sixteen. Huh? Yeah. I think I remember that. Yeah, they never threw me one, but I eventually got over it. <laughs> You know, um, about all that other stuff. I didn't realize I could be such a pain in the ass to live with, all right? Yeah. You really leaving? I should. You don't have to. I know. I mean, it's your place anyway, so. Huh. 
You'd be welcome back anytime. I know. Thanks. My pleasure. I'm going to miss having you around, believe it or not. I mean, you are my little brother. No, you won't. Come on. Come on, give us a hug. Serious? You gonna make, you gonna make me cup? You gonna make... Look, man, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I love you much, all right? Okay. I love you much. Yep, love you much. Now, you're gonna go to my room. I'm sorry. Okay. It's all right. Okay. All right. So where'd you go last night, anyway? Uh, nowhere. Oh yeah. Did you and uh, One-Eyed Willie take another trip to the Atomic last night? Oh yeah. You got me. How'd you even Wait know? A minute. What's that smell? It's got like a hint of bullshit with a... You got laid last night. Here we go. Oh, what? Yo, what the fuck? One of the girls from the party? Maybe. Bend your dick cummer snatch storm in the castle. Fuck, man, dildo baggins in it, huh? Come on, tell me about this shit, huh? Sit down, sit down. So, uh, she give you a little, woo -hoo. All right, all right, all right. Are you serious about moving out, man? I don't know. Yes. I just can't be here anymore, you know? I need to go somewhere and where I can find out who I am, away from you and all this shit. It's like my life's just, my life's just being defined right now by all the things that I have been. Everywhere I look, it's just a reminder of how shitty I am. It's like my life's just poorly written sitcom and it's just the same episode on over and over and okay, over Okay, so just change the channel. Don't this, leave. This is me changing the channel. It's not like I'm mad or anything. I just need to get out of here. Was it something I said? Look, man, I know I'm an asshole, all right? I don't mean to be. It's my job to toughen you up in the world. Gee, thanks. Look, man, I've been thinking about it all night, all right? You're more important to me than any girl. If you want me to break it off with her, I will. <laughs> That's bullshit. No, I will, I'm serious. <laughs> Look. Even if I believed you, which I don't, what am I, an asshole? And I have to be a fucking idiot to think that you'd really stay away from her. I would. You wouldn't. Really would. <laughs> That's bullshit. But look, she's a great girl. And if she could put up with you, then I wouldn't be able to forgive myself for blocking it just because I'm jealous of it. That's her, isn't it? It's perfect timing. Yeah, not a second too soon, huh? Chanel for men? No, I mean those space boots. Oh. You go into the moon they're later? From outer or? space. Yeah. Well, they look like they're from outer space because like universal style, baby doll. Come on. Yeah. You learn a two thing or two being around me. I know. You just gotta fix the laces because they look a little puffy. Have you guys met? Wayne, this is my brajul, Eleanor. Eleanor, this is my little brother, Wayne. He doesn't even know how to spell brajuls. So, hey. 
Are you? You sound simple. Why you sound simple? Why you sound simple, man? Are you a cartoon character now, Mike? Yeah, it's my Are you an evil overlord? He got laid last night and didn't come home. Fuck the what? No, you didn't. You did. He got you a little should. cinnamon on his churro, right? A little cinnamon down on there, huh, Papita? Yeah. He was like a quarterback right at the goal line, about to sneak in for the winning touch. Not like Peyton Manning, you know? Like okay. Peyton I Manning's backup, backup, backup. Got backup. it. The one who holds the clipboard, you know, never gets to go in. Fine. They let him in, and then he got right there on the goal line, and he gets so, hot, hot, hike. Did you, Whoa! did you get over a mountain? Right into the vagina end zone. Huh? Got over both her mountains. Did you bring in the funk? Bring in the noise? Did you finish the deed, though? Did you fluff her pillows? Huh? Did you get a little titty titty bang bang? Did you, love? Or did you go bushwhacking down under? <laughs> well, not long, babe. Did you? Did you? Mm -hmm. a little Vegemite on there? Hmm? Well? Anal? <gasps> Guys. Wait, did she fuck you in the ass? No, I didn't know. Guys. Like, seriously. It's not like I glazed her donuts or anything. I just went down her coral reefs. Yes. Took a look at her little mermaid, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, I went directly to jail. I didn't pass go, and I didn't collect two hundred dollars. Okay, well that is that's Muff Monopoly. <laughs> Muff Monopoly. And that's my favorite. Mm. It is her favorite. In fact, I think I own boardwalk in a muff monopoly and you have to stay up in a hotel every night, don't you? No, that's not even true. What the fuck those references, bro? You need to work on your metaphors. You work on them. Well, he has no sentence structure, his references are all over the place. Mrs. Ellington would not approve, huh? That was his favorite teacher in grade school. He had a crush on her, I think, so. Caught him sniffing the paintings once. <laughs> <laughs>